Good day YouTube, welcome to take 3 of this snuff review and uh, this one is going to be on Wilson's of Sharrow's Crumbs of Comfort. This is a really nice, um, it's not, uh, it is classed as a menthol however um, it's not quite menthol uh, for me, it's got a really strong fresh spearmint smell to it, the scent is um, not like your normal menthol, the spearmint sort of just kicks straight through and it's a very subtle menthol um, when you take it you do get quite a sharp blast of it um, but for me it doesn't irritate me as not nearly as much as a lot of other menthols I can't take them a lot because they sort of irritate the skin um, it, my sort of nasal tissue I guess I think it's just the strength of the menthol that they use in there but this Crumbs of Comfort um, doesn't do that for me at all um, which I really like. Um, it's a classic Wilson's of Shower Snuff. You know, it's that medium fine grind, medium moisture, um, medium nicotine. Nothing too strong about it. But we'll get onto that one um, after we've had a quick look at this um, close up. Okay, so here we have the close up, and uh, hopefully we stay in focus for all of this one. It's a little 10 gram tin here. It's 10. It could be the 7.5 one actually. Or I'm not really sure. Okay, we're open. So, as you can hopefully see from that, it's quite a light brown. It's pale. You can't really tell there, but it is pale. Pale brown. Medium moisture in that one, I'd say. And it is quite a fine grind. It's very similar to the other Wilson's of Sharrow's. And the smell is lovely off this one. It's a real nice sort of spearminty type smell, I think. It smells like, um, yeah, it smells like the spearmint polo, if you've ever had them. The light blue ones. Moisture levels in this one, you know, it's a good medium. Um, there's a fair bit stuck to my finger there. So this one should be quite easy to take, but as they say, the proof is in the pudding. So let's go and give this one a try. Right, let's try some of this, shall we? I'm using my little snuff spoon. Keep making minor adjustments to this just so it scoops a bit better. Um, but it's been doing really well lately. Try and have a decent scoop of this. How's that big enough? Ooh, hmm. That's one thing I always always notice about this Crumbs of Comfort is um, it's got much more of a kick than what you expect because it smells very subtle. Um, you smell it in the tin, oh that's a nice beer minty flavour, it's not going to knock your socks off. And it's not, it's not got that menthol -y type of burn that you get with some menthols that, I get some that irritate my uh, skin, I just don't take them. Um, but it's got a, a sharp spear minty mentholated flavour. Um, as soon as you take it, it sort of, it's like a cold blast up your nose. It does give you a bit of burn to start off with and uh, has made my eyes water a little tiny bit. But it's a very pleasant snuff to take. It's one of those morning snuffs that will just get you, you know, get you going in the morning. Um, not a whole lot else to say. The grind and um, moisture content make it for easy taking. I had quite a big scoop on there and um, the, one, the one thing I have found, because I haven't really been much of a snuff spoon user, um, I used to just pinch all the time and you do get everything in one go off a spoon you know it's uh, when you're pinching it you do an action like you have it like that in your fingers and then you open your fingers slowly like that and it lets it out gradually whereas you take the spoon up and it's and the whole thing just goes poof, straight up there so you get a bigger initial sort of shock or hit from that um, which is good and bad it depends, um, you know, it depends what your preference is. Preference is. 
So, to summarise, um, hopefully I've covered, if you've got any more questions about this one, just ask, because I'm not sure, I feel like I haven't covered something. Crumbs of Comfort, um, it's a subtle spearmint menthol snuff, but it does have a good kick. Um, I wouldn't say much in terms of nicotine, um, it's not that high up. Excuse me. <laughs> um, it's uh, just, I'd say medium, average, nothing too uh, too punchy about it. It's really the menthol spearmint kick that gets you. And I really like this one. Um, I'll definitely be taking this a bit more. I just, these tins, I just can't quite get used to them. Um, the problem for me is that I don't want them to dry out. So every time I use it, I replace the green tape that it comes with. I just take it off and then put it back on again once I've had some. Obviously that creates more of a hassle so you're less likely to take it. But also then when you're opening it, first off, they're quite hard to open. Because so, usually I have the 25 gram tins and they're fine. You can get a grip on them. So for instance, that's a 25 gram size tin. You can get a good grip on it. Whereas the smaller tins, I can't get a grip on the bottom half here to pull it off. So what I have to do is actually get my nail under there. I've tried the method people have used where you sort of squeeze the edges in, it doesn't really work for me. So I have to actually get my nail under the lip there and just peel it off and then you get a little bit. See how it's over the top there. I always moan about these tins but you know, it is what it is and the snuff's good so it's worth it. Um, I do prefer the 25 gram, gram ones and even more so, most of them I do decant into jars if I can. If I've got a jar spare and I've got a 25 gram tin of Wilson's of Sharrow, it will go in the jar. Um, especially now I've started using my spoon, it's the most it's the most convenient thing. I can just flip the jar open, get a spoon and snuff, take it in, and then clip it shut. Brilliant things, keeps it fresh, perfect thing to do. Okay, so, crumbs of comfort, thumbs up from me, really like it. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on it. Sorry I've rambled on a bit on this video. Um, I'll try and make the next reviews a little bit shorter and more to the point. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next video um, and I hope you have a fantastic day.